So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and use your iPhone keyboard. Now the iPhone keyboard, it's a very, very nice keyboard. There's a lot of capability behind it. And if you're brand new to the whole entire Apple ecosystem, I'll show you exactly how you can go through and use this particular keyboard. So number one, you can invoke this keyboard just by tapping on a text block, just like I did here. Now, if we go ahead and zoom in to the actual keyboard, the components of it are actually pretty basic. So at the very top, you just have your standard keyboard. So you can tap on them to go and type. You have a capitalization button right here if you want to capitalize the letters. If you double tap on the capitalization, it will keep that caps lock on. If you double tap it once, it'll go and turn back off. You have your text number right here and your number button. So if you want to get into numbers, you can click here and it will show all the numbers and special characters. If you tap on it again, it will go take you back here. You have your space bar if you want to go and tap on spaces. You have your period you know, if you want to quickly just type in the period. You have your go button or an enter button if you want to go and enter text or send or whatever and that will show up right there then you have your backspace button so if you want to delete whatever you're typing in you can just continue hitting that backspace button and that will go ahead and delete everything that you just typed in right there now at the very bottom of the keyboard there's two extra icons there's an emoji icon and there's a microphone icon the emoji icon will bring you straight into your emoji keyboard so you can go through here and you can choose a different keyboard that you want to. You can also search for an emoji here if you want. But you can scroll through here and you can find a different keyboard that you like or a different emoji that you like. And you can go and place that in right here, which is really, really convenient. Now, you can also click on the microphone button on the right side. And what will happen here is it will start actually you know, typing what you're saying. So if you want to, you can actually go through and just kind of talk to your phone and it will automatically start dictating and start kind of translating whatever you're saying into text. If you want to stop it, you can click on that stop button right there and it will just stop it for you. So that is actually a really, really convenient thing. If you ever want to go back to your regular keyboard, you can click right here and it'll just, you know, bring you back. Now, the other thing to keep in mind here is if you want, you can go through and instead of typing on your keyboard like this, you can also go through and you can swipe in the keyboard like this too. It's a little bit more advanced, but if you want to type hi, instead of going like hi like this, you can just swipe like this and you can get to the same thing. It saves a lot of time. You don't necessarily have to do it. I personally prefer it a lot, but that is one cool thing that you have the capability of having right there. Now that's kind of it for the keyboard. One last thing I want to show you is that there's a lot of keyboard settings you can actually modify. So if you make your way over into your settings application right here, if you go ahead and scroll down until you see general, which is right here, and then if you go ahead and scroll down one more time until you see an option that says something like keyboard. So there's a keyboard option right here. What you want to do is tap on there, and then you'll basically be able to see all this information right here, which allows you to go through, and you can go and modify this keyboard whichever way you want to. If you want to change your keyboards, change your text replacement, if you want to do one-handed keyboard options, turn it on or off. There's a lot of stuff that you can modify here as well. So I'd recommend going through here and modifying this whichever way you can. But that's basically how you use the keyboard on your iPhone. It's a pretty basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Sullivan. Well